Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is a quick video of how I power my Echo Worthy uh, solar trackers. I received a question on Amazon of how do I uh, power the trackers. I have two of them. First, first of all, when you receive it, you will go to uh, their web website and download the PDF file. Far as the, that's far as the installing them. And this is how I power my trackers. First of all, those uh, two solar panels at the top right there. They go to the charge controller. You have to purchase the charge controller and those uh, separate uh, solar panels. You got to purchase those by your independently. Uh, and this is a cheap charge controller where I purchased off uh, eBay. Or you could go to Harbor Freight and you run your solar panels to this one right here. It says it has an icon. I don't know if you can see that for solar panels. And this one right here, you run the terminal terminals of the battery to those the positive and goes to this and the negative and of the battery goes to that pretty much self-explanatory and this battery you have to purchase that separate this is a 12 volt battery a thunderbolt battery uh, purchased from uh, harbor freights it's a real good battery too it's 35 amp hour 12 volt battery uh, the new technology the A let me see AGM if I'm not mistaken <coughs> so I wire these in parallel there's uh, two solar panels each one of those the lines go to each other right right here connects right here wire the positive to the positive negative to the negative of the two solar panels and connect make connections right there run it to the charge controller and see right here see it's on the panel is moving it's tracking the so uh, it's tracking the sun because I got it on auto right now but uh, those run to to the charge controller then the charge controller runs to the battery so these three components the separate solar panels and the charge controller and the battery you have to purge separate you with, with your kit you're going to get a control box and you're going to get the actuators with the wire harness this guy that goes to the actuators you get a, a east west and the north and south actuator and with included in the kit you would get the sensor right here that comes with it so and you get the tracker itself and what I did I reinforced these brackets because they first of all they use too short for the panels that I mounted to, I mounted, uh, mounted uh, six panels from High Tech Solar, where you could, uh, where I purchased on eBay, 
and these are some very nice panels right there they're monocrystal panels with 160 uh, watts <clears throat> I got it on auto like I say both of them are on auto and both both uh, trackers are wired the same same format let me show y'all how I'm gonna put it on manual manual I guess is one showing y'all and you get the remote <clears throat> this is a demonstration of how it works keep in mind during the winter time you want to put this on manual and just set them at a, a certain angle because um, you could destroy your actuators trying to with, with the actuators trying to work during the winter time with uh, ice and uh, water all over the all over the actuators they could freeze up Oh, and right here on this tracker, I installed uh, six Renogy panels. These uh, Renogy panels are very good panels also. Uh, these are smaller and they're just, uh, they're 100 watts each. Well, I purchased on uh, eBay or Amazon. And with the six panels by me going with six panels what I did is I made a stension right here with a bracket like more like a unistrut bracket purchase you could purchase at your Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards and another piece of uh, aluminum that I cut and made a stension so I could mount six panels on it instead of just uh, four panels and right here I did the same thing with the two I used the two 10, 10 watt uh, uh, separate panels and wired on parallel the two wires going then they make the contact two positives connects to two positive and two negative of the solar panels connects to the two negatives and then they connects to that one positive that goes to the charge controller I got the box on this one uh, and these are battery boxes that are mounted on piggyback to a wood uh, stub right there <coughs> yeah So that's and right here this is my conjunction box where solar conjunction box I have to, I got one on this one one on that tracker over there and all the uh, hot and uh, negative and positive wires they go underground through the conduit come from that tracker over there and the six panels that's mounted to my top of my shed and these panels are wired and 24 volt uh, parallel and uh, 24 volt series I got a 24 volt system 
at my house. All of those are running to this combiner box. And then it goes on the ground in that conduit right there to the conduit that mama's in the house that runs wire in the house. So that's my tracking system. I'm gonna put it on auto again. I believe that's two. Yeah. So now it's tracking the sun right now. These are very good to have. They increase the sun. They increase the uh, the watts significantly because they follow the the sun as as the sun moves. So it most definitely is worth the money. Now this tracker is tracking. All right, folks, uh, that's a quick video of uh, how I power my tracker system, EchoWordy Solar Tracker. Like I say, you gotta go to the website and download the uh, PDF file for the installment.